When will you be back? Tomorrow. At what time? Still. To continue my investigations yes. about 11 o'clock. I beg your pardon? I said be quiet. What is it? The platform again. Something changing, something happening. Tell me. The flowers have appeared again. And the smell of summer. But there's something else still. There's something else this time. Can you identify it? Just a very powerful feeling of hatred and resentment, a strong feeling of resentment. The whole atmosphere out here is charged with it. And that sound steel. Can you hear that? No. What is it? It's the sound of a band. It's approaching. It's coming here. Listen. And I can hear men hey, marching. Up. Do you hear that? Be careful, Safar. Do you hear it? Safar, be careful. I'm all right, Steele. Safar, leave that platform now. We're in the waiting room. Come here now. All irregularities will be handled by the forces controlling each dimension. Transuranic heavy elements may not be used where there is life. Medium atomic weights are available. Gold, lead, copper, jet, diamond, radium, sapphire, silver and steel. Sapphire and steel have been assigned. Sapphire, leave that platform now. Answer me. It's hot. It's a hot summer day. He likes the sun. He says it makes things grow. It makes the corn ripen. I can hear wood pigeons and bees. It's very hot and very, very still. He's with them, you see. It's their special send-off. Do you hear it? Do you hear that? Who are you, Sephiroth? Who are you? No passenger trains today. The station is closed to ordinary passengers. The waiting room doors are locked. They're just the girls. Just the girls who gave... who gave them...
the girls who gave us flowers. External projection? No, an after image. After image? Yes, it lived once. Do you think we're witnessing? It's amazing. Would you please be quiet? You might as well tell me. Reckon you might as well find out for yourself. All right. What do you want here? Reckon you might as well find that out now. See what you've done. You've given them away. So that's your threat, is it? That poor lad. I mean, I mean, is that really your idea of evil? Yes, it is. Well, it isn't mine. Please come back. In the name of God, please come back. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors. The afterimage belonged to someone who died during the Great War. Great War? 1914 to 1918. Died here? You mean this was a battleground? No, the send-off was from here. His send-off. Did you hear the train? Yes. And the women? Women? Yes, the ones who once cheered them on their way and made them think that they were heroes. No, I didn't hear them. I did. It was something he wanted me to experience, to participate in. Just momentarily. I don't think he wanted to frighten me. He just wanted me to experience it. Why? Because those women were part of this place for him. He resented what they stood for. You sensed that? Yes. Was it the same feeling of resentment and hatred you felt earlier on on the platform? 
Some of it, yes. But not all of it. So this is where it all started for him. His death started here. Great wars, civil wars, holy wars. You know, sometimes I wonder why they bother to send us here. It's not enough. That amount of resentment, it's not enough. He was a soldier. He went to war. He must have allowed for the possibility of being killed prematurely. Uh, it's not enough. You're sure that was the war he was killed in? Oh, yes. I saw his death. It was something else he wanted me to experience. Where's Tully? Waiting. Where? In the waiting room. I'm going to send him home. Then we have to find out who he was. His name, where he lived, and exactly where and when he died. And what his intentions are. He didn't come back. No. And I'm hoping, praying, if you like, that he hasn't deserted us for good. I doubt that he has. Because that would be a pity, a great pity. I feel the ghost of that poor lad has things to say. I'm sure he has. Things to tell us. Mr. Tully. So I've decided to stay on tonight, not to go home. Have you? A sort of emergency service, if you like. So no more jokes. I'd rather you didn't make fun of me. I'm not stupid. I happen to realize. Realize what? But the pair of you seem to be working along similar lines to me. All right, then, alternative line. Yes, I'd prefer that. I mean, I'm aware of your, well, I suppose your tour de force. Oh, what? The way you're able to communicate. Some method of thought transference, is it? Something like that, yes. It's very clever. And you obviously have a leaning towards clairvoyance also. Must have taken years of practice. Now, my approach to the supernatural Mr. is a Tully. much more. Yes? Do you have any more tapes for this machine? I have some, yes. Recordings you've made here during the past two months? Yes. But I'm not giving them to you. You refer to my equipment as junk. It's still junk. Give them to me. Oh, no, no. This happens to be part of a record of my research. Now, I've answered a great deal of questions from you, but you haven't answered one of mine. So as fellow investigators, a part of my research information in exchange for a part of yours. Tell him. This much. What does it look like? We don't know yet. And yet you say that it's dangerous, it's evil. Yes. Then it can hardly be the ghost of that poor soldier. The man who killed him, perhaps. No, this force is not human. But you said... It uh, simply draws its power from emotional responses of the human kind. You mean the human soul? No, I do not mean the human soul. I mean responses. Like what? Like hatred, anger, Resentment. You're trying to tell me that this force thrives upon feelings, upon some of the worst human feelings? Yes. Of living people? No. Preferably the dead.
where does this force come from? We don't know that either. Well, you seem to know enough. Yes. Now, how can this force use the persona of the dead? Because the persona lives on. Where? In the atmosphere. It only has to be activated. All right, so where did no you... No more questions, please. What? The exchange is over. It is not. I'll let your friend have four tape recordings. All I've had so far in return is a few hints about how dead people... Ah, just the man I wanted The to first see. tape on this machine. Yes? Had it ever been used before? No. It's a blank tape. A new one. Did you check it before you used it? Well, of course, I always do. And? Well, I just said it was blank. The first and only recording made with this tape was out there earlier this evening. Yes. Have you played it back since? Well, I haven't had much chance, have I? What is it, Steele? Listen. In the name of God, please tell me who you are. I know you're here. I'm a friend. And I want to help you. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Listen. So would you let me help you? Trust in me. A pigeon. That's you moving the machine? Yes. You don't switch it off when you move it? No. What are they doing? Bridge stairs. But I heard nothing at the time. No? Have you ever heard anything like it before? No. Nothing like that? No. Only the sounds of the soldier. It sounded like death again, someone's death. Yes. But where were they? In the submarine. And yet... What? Well... Our young soldier was obviously from the First World War, and that seemed sort of, sort of later. Why later? Well, I don't think they had electric pumps for ballast tanks in the First World War. I mean, I couldn't swear to that, but... I was at the top of the stairs on the footbridge. Tully was at the foot here. Working he was my way up. Working his way up. Try the stairs. Nothing. What about the top? Yes. There's something. Somewhere. It's not very strong. But it's somewhere here. What are you sensing? Resentment? No. Hatred? Neither of those. It's more like... Fear and hopelessness. What's the temperature? Cold. That's odd. I've never recorded a temperature drop there. Always the opposite. Yes, it's quite cold. 
Give me details. It's just comb. Oh, it's a strange sort of comb, like... Like at the bottom of the sea. No, the other extreme. It's like high in the air. The air is thin, it's a high altitude. But it's still dark. No, the sun is shining. It's very bright. It's almost dazzling. It's gone. Whatever it was, it's gone, Steel. Maybe it's all designed to confuse us. It's all a bit of a mixture, isn't it? Bottom of the sea, high in the air, things out of order, out of time. And the voices? It has to be the soldier. The main instrument is the soldier, only him. Yes. We've seen him. We know this place is important to him. But his resentment started here. Is that what you're thinking or what you're hoping? Hoping. I'd rather not have to think the obvious. That this could be a recruiting ground for the dead. Yes. I'm going to check the other three tapes 